Oh, my question. Um, so, associate professor, is that what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, that's, you have, yeah. To, you have to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Greg's so fine. Greg. Hi, my name's Lily and I'm a chemical engineering student at UQ. And I'm here today with one of my lecturers from last year, Greg Burkett, and he's an associate professor in the School of Chemical Engineering. Oh, thank you. Okay, well, we've got a few questions to answer today, Lil. Thanks, Greg. So my first question for you is, what actually is chemical engineering? Ah, that's a very good question, and I get asked this a lot, uh, including by my mum. Um, so, so chemical engineers, what they do is they turn something into something else. Okay, and they take a raw material of some description and they turn it into something valuable. And that's what they do. And it doesn't matter if you're talking about taking an ore and turning it into a metal, uh, taking wastewater and turning it into useful water, uh, or taking something like sugar and turning it into biofuels. That's what chemical engineers do. And the processes to do those things, that's what chemical engineering is about. So why did you decide to study chemical engineering, Lily? Yeah, that's a good question. And a bit like your mum, I was a bit unsure what all of the engineering majors really entailed. So I'd heard floating around out there, like just what you've said, that uh, chemical engineering is about taking something and making something else and that process of improvement and production was really interesting to me. Um, in particular, I was intrigued about getting into some sort of sustainable um, field. So I thought this would be a really great uh, pathway to take to get there. And I'm actually doing a dual degree with arts. So I'm studying international relations and economics and I find that these all pair really nicely together. The next question is, if I wanted to study chemical engineering, what are my options? So chemical engineering is part of engineering at the University of Queensland. Um, so you do have the option to do it as a dual degree, uh, as Lily is doing with arts. Uh, you're also able to pair it with a range of majors. And this demonstrates the breadth of stuff that chemical engineering is involved in. So biomedical engineering, bioprocess engineering, metallurgical engineering, materials engineering, environmental engineering. So this speaks to the range of processes that we rely on uh, that chemical engineers are involved in. When did you know you wanted to study chemical engineering? Oh, that's a good question. And it was almost a bit of a last minute decision, but I applied for engineering and I'd gone through my first year and I was still tossing up, you know, which major do I actually want to go in? And I think it was actually a course that you took last year and it was a chemical thermodynamics course and it kind of led in really nicely to chemical engineering. A lot of people had told me, if you do this, you're gonna like chemical engineering. And that was really the course that made up my mind. Yep, chemical engineering's for me. Why do you enjoy teaching chemical engineering? Um, well, I guess that's a, that's a double-barreled question. Um, so I, I love teaching at the university because um, I get to meet lots of great students. So the students are the ones who really make it for me. Uh, and our students go through a lot of different journeys uh, and they all end up in uh, fantastic places, which is uh, unbelievable. Then chemical engineering, I just find it really interesting. Um, and being able to help students see the way that chemical engineers look at the world uh, is something I really love doing. Why did you choose the University of Queensland? My main reason for choosing the University of Queensland was because I'd seen the um, sort of rigour of the courses and I thought that that paired really nicely and especially I'd heard a lot about sort of the support particularly in the engineering um, degrees that you get and through coming to a few open days and that sort of thing I was really impressed and also just the beautiful campus here I love um, all the teaching and learning spaces and the nature that's surrounding it. So does the university have any industry connections? Uh, yes lots. Um, and we build those industry connections in uh, lots of ways, the placements that our students have, um, the research partnerships that we have, um, the huge alumni network that we have. Uh, and the range of companies that we work across is uh, hugely diverse as well, from massive companies uh, like uh, BP or PepsiCo, for example, um, to uh, utilities like Queensland Urban Utilities working on water. Um, down to smaller startup companies looking at things like uh, innovative materials or energy solutions. Okay, Lily, uh, what is your favourite place on campus? That's a really tricky one because there's so many amazing places uh, and I feel like I'm finding new ones every day. 
but probably my favourite place is the UQ sporting facilities. So I love to go to the gym and use the pool and the tennis courts and um, inter-faculty sporting competitions are held down there, which is really cool. And also, um, even on the Brisbane River, there's a wakeboarding and water skiing club, which I'm a part of, and that's pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> so, as a part of chemical engineering, are there any field trips? Yes, there are, and uh, we've got one of the largest field trips in the university. So we take all our second year students to, uh, to Gladstone, which is uh, a fun and interesting uh, trip. We chuck them all on a bus, they all go up, they, uh, they stay at a, what is effectively a campground, they visit lots of different industry sites and, and really get a handle on what chemical engineering is about. But more important than that, they get to meet other students and get to really make uh, good friendships and connections in doing that. Uh, in other courses and in later years, there are additional field trips as well. So for example, uh, we have uh, field trips to Stradbroke Island in some of our courses, to breweries and other courses, um, or to, um, to high uh, technology bioprocessing facilities as well. What is a day in the life of a student like? Yeah, well, I can't speak for every single student, but um, I know that my day is always very jam-packed and they're all very different throughout the week, which I really enjoy that sort of flexibility and freedom but um, usually I get up pretty early around six o'clock and try to get in some exercise before I head to uni for the day and then um, having all my pracs and lectures and tutorials and trying to catch up with friends in between in those breaks. So what does the future of the chemical engineering industry look like? Um, yeah, so, so I guess some things will remain the same in that chemical engineers make stuff that people need every single day. So food, uh, energy, fuel, things like that. Um, but I guess two big changes are going to come through. The first of these is that sustainability is going to be uh, the top imperative uh, as we continue to um, want to live on this planet, basically. Uh, and then also the digital revolution as well, that um, how we go about um, measuring and, and controlling these processes is going to continue to change uh, over the, the next coming years. What do you love about your degree? So I think Chemical engineering in particular fosters a really great uh, community sense. Uh, there's a great connection between the year levels and lots of little events going on every now and then. Um, Inter-faculty competitions and uh, even like games nights and that sort of thing, which I really enjoy. But I think fundamentally it's the learning experience that I've been uh, lucky enough to be a part of. And I think um, the high quality of teachers and lecturers here at the university has really um, blown me away 